Hey guys, Woods Farm here. Just out in the garage doing another quick project. I've got an extension cord that I need to repair. Uh, the plug um, is damaged, so I'm going to put a replacement plug on the end of the cord. And this is a pretty uh, quick and easy thing to do, and it saves a lot of money. You don't have to go out and buy a new extension cord. Um, you're going to need some basic tools, a couple of screwdrivers, uh, a slot and a Phillips. Uh, side cutters help. Uh, wire strippers are also nice to have, and an X-Acto knife. Um, you can do this with just an X-Acto knife uh, and a couple of screwdrivers if you don't have a lot of tools. And obviously you're going to need the replacement plug. Uh, these are really inexpensive and you can pick them up at any hardware store. Uh, before I get started, um, somebody in the comments is sure to say I'm doing this wrong, but I can say that I've done several of these and never had a problem or had any sort of electrical fire. Uh, it's pretty straightforward but take the advice with a grain of salt. Okay, here's the problem. The uh, plastic around where the cord attaches to the plug has worn out and broken, um, and now the wires are exposed, and it looks like one of them might be damaged, so we're getting a bit of a short. Uh, you can see I've put electrical tape around this a couple of times to kind of extend the life, but it's pretty common for these cords to get damaged in this way. Um, the other thing that happens is sometimes uh, the plug itself will get crushed, you run over it with your truck or something, um, or they just get ripped off, whatever. Um, but this is a pretty, uh, this is a heavy duty cord, so, um, I and they're pretty expensive, so it's easier to go out and spend five or six bucks on a new plug and just repair it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this cord off. Um, this is where side cutters come in handy. And I'm going to remove all this uh, electrical tape. Okay, I've got most of the tape off and I've got the wires exposed. Um, if there's any sort of a plastic protective thing, you're going to want to cut the wire back um, past that just to get fresh, uh, good wire. Okay, so that's going to simulate if you've got like a, just a, a break in the cord or whatever. Um, you're going to have something like this. Um, what you want to do is take your X-Acto knife and real carefully just cut through the outer sheath. You don't want to cut into the wires on the inside and you should be able to peel that back. Okay, so you want to take a look at your plug and you want to make sure you kind of measure and you only cut back as much of the sheath as you need to. So, and you want to make sure your wires are roughly the right length. So that's about right. Okay, now you're going to want to take the sheath off the actual three individual wires. Um, about half an inch should be good. Um, this is where wire strippers come in handy. If you've got a set of wire strippers like this, these are super useful. Just like that. But you can do this with an X-Acto knife. And all you want to do is just carefully kind of slice away the, co the cover until you expose the wire and then you can peel it back. Like so. And then you just, any excess of the plastic, you just cut that away. All said and done, you'll end up with something like this. You wanna make sure not to forget the uh, cover piece or the end cap. Um, usually you got to thread this on ahead of time, so do that. Okay, so you're going to look at your plug and you're going to see a green terminal, uh, and that's for the green wire and that's ground, that's pretty straightforward. And there's also going to be a silver and a gold terminal. In my experience, it does not matter what wire goes to silver or gold, but an electrician will tell you different. 
Um, in this case, it appears the black wire goes to the silver and the white wire goes to the gold. And that's just based on me looking at the old plug and seeing how the wires were arranged. Just going to loosen off the screws on these terminals. And sometimes you will have one where you have to actually wrap the wire around the, the screw terminal. Or in this case, there's just a little slot and you just extend the wire inside that slot. And when you s put the screw down, it clamps onto it. So this style is a lot easier to deal with. Okay, all said and done, you'll end up with something that looks like this. And then you just slide the cap over line it up and screw it together. Usually these will have a little detent or a tab so it'll only go together in one way. And this style also has like a clamp here that clamps down. Just tighten that up and you're all done. finished. And if you're wondering, we'll test it out. And it works. Okay, that was a quick and easy video. Uh, hopefully it helps. Um, like I said, it's cheaper to repair something as opposed to going out and buying a new one. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I usually answer pretty quickly. And uh, if you want to see more videos from the Woods Farm, uh, definitely make sure to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.